What's up guys? We're going to go ahead and review the paid version of AVG. It's called AVG Internet Security. Now Internet Security is one of the best antivirus programs out there. The one that I recommend. Even the free version, which we did do a review on this channel. Go ahead and take a look uh, on my channel. You'll find it. The paid version has a lot more protection. A little bit more tools. And we will look at PC Magazine's um, tests. AVG has one of the best test results in uh, uh, PC Magazine uh, Antivirus Testing Lab. Uh, this is what it looks like once you uh, download it. You can download a free trial, guys. If you go to this website here, I will post a link on the description of the video so you can uh, download the free trial. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Once you download the free trial, it will take you through a couple of... Uh, a smart scan and uh, two other, uh, I think it's a performance and a, and a, it might be a registry scan. But anyway, I'll take you through three scans before it gets to this page here. So right off the bat, it starts doing scans. Right off the bat, it starts uh, looking in your computer to make sure everything's good. All right. And uh, this is what it looks like here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what PC Magazine had to say, the pros and cons. The pros is that it has excellent scores and independent lab results. We'll take a look at those here in a bit. Good scores in most of our hands-on tests. It includes webcam, data, and firewall protection, which is good. Protection for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices also for your Apple phones is available as well. The cons, it doesn't offer much that's not in the AVG free antivirus. <laughs> Some suite specific features have limited utility. Persistent upsells, that can always be annoying. Single device plan is expensive. And mobile editions are limited. We will look at the mobile editions eventually once we get through all the antivirus programs on PC, uh, which work on Mac too. And AVG Internet Security Specs, it only has a firewall. It does not have anti-spam, does not have parental control, does not have backup, does not have tune-up. And they call it, well, it's Internet Security. I think there's a total protection one too. We'll have to look at that one. But this one's just Internet Security, which is why it doesn't have these extra features here. All right, guys, let's take a look at the program itself. This is what it looks like. If you want to see your firewall, click right here, open firewall. I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to share any of my network details with the world. All right, if you click here on the basic protection icons on computer, you can see that it has a file shield, behavior shield, ransomware protection. And um, so it stops the ransomware before it happens. That's when your computer gets taken hostage. All your files get taken hostage. And you had to pay to get it back. That sucks. I've seen it happen to people. And it's got a network inspector, which we will not open. I don't want to share uh, my network with the world. Let's open up this guy, though. Ransomware protections protects your duck. Because this is where the ransomware goes. It takes these folders here, um, ransom, uh, ransom, basically. And you have to pay to get them back. And even if you pay, sometimes they don't even give you back your computer. So don't even pay these guys. Because I've seen it where people pay. They paid them twice, three, four times because they really need their stuff back. And nope, they still don't uh, unlock it, which is really, I hate to see people go through that. It sucks. Web and email protection. We got web shield, email shield, enhanced firewall, and hack alerts. Monitors your account for leaked passwords. That's good. I had a password that it was telling me that it was leaked, so I had to change it. So it works. I've seen it work. Hacker attacks, protect password protection, remote access shield. Block and wanted remote connections. So you can actually open that and um, uh, look through the connection attempts. Right now, there's no connections going through. So what I'm seeing is AVG Internet Security is more of a active protection. What that means is protecting you actively as you're you know, doing your thing on your computer, which is good. That's why AVG is so good. To run a scan, if you think you have a virus, you click here on Run Smart Scan. But I, what I really recommend, and they should have a button here. I don't know why they always have the button for smart. I call it a cheap scan. Click right here where it says run other scans. Do a deep scan, guys. Deep scan is where you want to be. That will really scan your computer. And it'll take a long time, depending on your computer. And you can also opt here, shut down computer after scan finishes. To stop it, you can click stop here. All right. And uh, if you go to menu up here and you go to settings, 
here you can go ahead and change all your settings you can update the program through here notifications exceptions blocked and allowed apps all that stuff basic and here here's the settings for the basic protection you could set you put it to high sensitivity like if you really wanted to be really sensitive or medium or lower so you can do that and then what to do with malware fix automatically or ask so here you could change a whole bunch of stuff guys if you're new to computers if you're a newbie you just leave all this uh the way it is you'll be fine the only tools i see on avg internet security is uh data shredder this data shredder here and that's it uh, yeah that's it that's the only thing but like i said it's internet security um let's take a look at the test results from pc magazine let's see what they said here they are and avg is up here number of test labs they did too the score is 10 10 out of 10 baby so there it is guys avg is the best one they did two tests came up to 10 bit defender did 10 too that's pretty good we'll have to look at bit defender as well guys but yeah avg got 10 that's awesome and malware protection tests here's avg uh protection score is 8.6 detection rate 88 percent and malicious URL blocking 79%. It's not as high as, let's say, McAfee. It looks like McAfee's taking the cake, which is kind of crazy because McAfee for a while sucked. But look at that. We're going to look at McAfee and Webroot here soon, guys, because they're the best ones. Look at that. So AVG is here on third place of this list here. Um, yeah, it still does pretty good. I mean, AVG is still doing pretty darn good. We'll have to look at all of them, but test results, pretty good. Third place here on malware protection tests and lab results, it has a 10. So that's good, guys. Really good. You can't go wrong with AVG. Now, if you guys wanted to buy it, let's take a look and see how much it would cost you guys. Um, $2 per month? Ah, that's not bad. I see some other programs that are freaking like, Fifty dollars. Uh, oh, I don't know how much is that per year. Let's see. Let's take out our good old calculator here. That's what two dollars or oh, twenty-four dollars a, a year. Two times twelve. Yeah, twenty-four dollars a year. That's not bad. Twenty-four dollars a year. That's about the average cost of antivirus nowadays. You used to be able to buy it one time buy, but now it has to be freaking sucks that you have to do it per month now. But anyway. I think they might want you guys to buy it the whole year, like $24 for the whole year. And they're just telling you, hey, it's good. basically $2 per month. But I can't go, you can't go wrong. It's a good investment, guys. I recommend it. However, the free one does the same thing. So if you want a little extra protection, buy it. But if you want basic protection, the free antivirus, AVG antivirus, will do just fine, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video.